Welcome to Little Life Story and Song Time. This week we're finding about I Can Taste and I wonder what your favourite food is. Well, as you can see, the rabbits this week are munching away on curly kale and this is one of their favourite foods. I must admit I'm not that fond of curly kale. I much prefer sweet things like caramel and chocolate and I do love my puddings as well. Let's have a look down the garden and see what else we can find that's eating something yummy today. Let me introduce you to George. This is my tortoise. Now then, he really loves lettuce and all kinds of salad greens like that. But his favourite, most favourite food is a yummy raspberry. Now he can't have these very often or it'll make his tummy a bit sore. So he has maybe a raspberry, maybe once a week, if he is being very, very good. Now our tongues are very clever, because they can tell us whether things are sweet or salty or bitter or sour. And I think George is really enjoying that lovely sweet raspberry. He gets it all round his beak. Can you see? And can you see how he's hanging on to it with his foot just then? I think he's really enjoying that. Right, let's see what other things are growing in my garden today that we might like to eat. Have a look up here. In George's enclosure, I've got lots of lettuce growing, and I must admit the rabbits quite like those, as does George. And I've also got some snow peas. And here are the snow peas here. I don't know if I've got <coughs> any pods on at the moment. Oh, yes I have. Can you see that pod there? That's a snow pea. And you normally eat those and the pods as well. And they're really, really yummy. Um, let's see what else I can find over here. I have got some tomato plants growing. I don't know if you can see how tall they are. They've gone crazy this year. Now, but let's see if I've got any tomatoes coming. Yeah. If you can see any in just in there, I'll get it in the right place for you so you can see. It's a tomato there, just starting to grow. Still green, they've got to ripen off in the sunshine. Do you like tomatoes? Let's see what else I've got growing up here. This year I've had a go trying to grow sweet corn. Can you see how tall they're growing? I think they've got to grow a lot, lot more before the sweet corn itself will start to grow. Right, I'm going to have a wander down the garden and see if I've got anything else there today. Let's have a look. Let's go past the fish pond, past the flowers and the poppies. There we go. Can you see over there the red and white flowers on all those leaves? That's my runner bean plants. They've grown really well this year. I don't know, can you see there? Just the beginnings of a couple of tiny, tiny runner beans. Aren't they great? And then, just next to the runner beans are my raspberry plants. See if we can spot any raspberries. This is where I pick a raspberry for George every now and then. There we go. Can you see there? Raspberry growing there. It's a bit pink. It needs to redden off a bit more in the sunshine before we eat that and I think there's one or two over there as well. I think that one there might be ready for picking so I might have that in a mo when I finish videoing. Okay so let's carry on down the garden because I've got one or two more things growing down here. Okay you see that tiny tree there? That's my new cherry tree that I've put in this year. There's no cherries on there yet. Over here we've planted a plum tree. Can you see? There's a lovely plum there. This just needs to grow a little bit more and go a little bit more red. Then it'll be ready for eating. That's a new tree as well. And then my third new tree is a pear tree. You see, this tree has managed to grow some pears on it. Mm. I'm looking forward to those getting bigger and bigger and getting juicier and juicier so that we can enjoy eating them. 
And then over here, this is my apple tree. Now then, it hasn't got many apples on at all this year. I don't know if I can spot any even. There might be one or two higher up. But they haven't grown at all this year. Some years you get lots of apples and some years you don't get many at all. But actually I've just spotted one. I can show it to you. There it is. A lovely green apple. Now that has to ripen off a bit more because if I picked it now it would taste very sour so I need to leave it on the tree a bit longer until it's yummy and juicy and sweet. Okay let's go up indoors now and we'll do our little life story and song time all about taste. See you indoors in a mo. What's in the box? What's in the box? Is it a rabbit or is it a fox? If you're quiet, you will see a little pink nose looking at me. They're really quite friendly and ever so nice. For here in the box are three little mice. And here they are. I wonder what the little mice like to eat. What do you think? Do you think they like cheese best of all? I wonder what that tastes like in their mouths. I bet they think it's yummy, don't you? Can you give them a little wave and say, hi little mice, nice to see you. Okay, let's put the mice down here and we'll do our one, two, three, four, five rhyme. And we'll say, thank you, I can taste. Are we ready? One, two, three, four, five. Thank you God that I'm alive. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Thank you, I can taste. Amen. Well done, everybody. Okay, this week our story is a story about Jesus. And it's something wonderful that Jesus did for a family so that they could have something at their wedding that tasted really, really good. And it's called The Cat's Tale, because this story is from the cat's point of view. Hello, I'm the cat who lives next door at number three. I expect you've seen me sunning myself up here on the roof. I like it up here. I can keep an eye on things. I was up here the other day when a truly amazing thing happened. I knew something was up the moment I saw the servants sweeping the courtyard. There I am watching them get ready for the party. Someone's getting married and everyone's been invited. It's going to be the party of the year. Down below the servants are hurrying about with tables and chairs. Put them here, says the steward. He is the man in charge. Now out comes the food. What a feast! There are pies and cakes and roasted meat, all kinds of fish and loaves of bread. There are pots of honey, flasks of wine and bowls piled high with nuts and grapes. I curl my tail and lick my lips. A piece of fish would be nice. I think that's what Cat would like most of all. <sighs> Soon the guests arrive. One or two at first, then lots more, streaming through the gate, laughing and chattering. One of them is called Jesus. He's come with a big crowd, and when he speaks, everyone gathers round and listens. I knew something was going to happen the moment I set my eyes on him. Now everyone is here, the party can begin. I'll go down and hide under one of the tables. Maybe I'll sit on someone's lap and purr for scraps of food. Everyone is happy. Everyone is laughing and joking. Everyone has a story to tell. Everyone is enjoying the party. Everyone except for one woman. I can hear her talking to her friend. Mary, whatever shall we do? The wine is running out and we've only just begun. What can we give them all to drink? The party will be ruined. 
I'll have a word with Jesus, says the other woman. She hurries to the table and whispers in his ear. I follow on behind, ears pricked. Standing in the courtyard are six huge stone jars. Quickly, says Jesus to the servants, fill these jars with water. Water? What good is water at a wedding? Wine is what we need, not water. The servants do as they are told. Off to the well and back again with buckets and jugs and leather bottles. Splish, splash, splosh, backwards and forwards until the jars are full. 150 gallons. Thirsty work. Now draw some off, says Jesus, and drink. The woman dips a pitcher in and then she gasps. There in her hand is not the water that the servants brought but dark red wine. Wine enough for everybody to drink and come again. The steward tastes the wine and says, the best was saved till last and everybody cheers and passes round the jug. So much excitement in one day, I'm off to sleep away the afternoon and I curl up on the roof and soon I'm dreaming. When I wake up, it's growing dark. The guests have gone. The moon is up. Did the water change to wine or was it all a dream? Looking down, I see the jars and one of them is still half full. The moon's reflection in the jar is pink. So Jesus really turned water into wine. What an amazing man. We've not heard the last of him. I bet my whiskers on it. What a brilliant story. It just goes to show that Jesus cares about the big things that matter to us and the little things as well. Okay, let's get on with our song, shall we? This week we've got one birthday. So I've got Lenny and I've got the birthday hat and it's Abby's birthday. Can we see Lenny? Yes, we can. Are we ready? Are you ready to sing happy birthday? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday dear Abby. Happy birthday to you. Okay, let's give Abby a big clap, shall we? And we'll say happy birthday, Abby, and we hope you have a lovely, lovely day. Okay, let's have a look and see what's in my song bag and see if it's all about food. See what rhymes and songs we can do, shall we? This is a good one. I bet you all love currant buns with cherries on the top. I certainly do. You can use your five fingers too for the currant buns. Are we ready? Five currant buns in the baker's shop, round and fat with a cherry on the top. Along came Rose with a penny one day, bought a currant bun and took it away. It's got four now. Four currant buns in the baker's shop, Round and fat with a cherry on the top. Along came Tom with a penny one day. Bought a currant bun and took it away. How many have we got left now? That's right, we've got three. Three currant buns on the baker's shop. Round and fat with a penny on the top. Along came Caleb with a penny one day, bought a currant bun and took it away. I think I went wrong in that one. Let's see if I can get this next verse right. How many have we got left? That's right, we've got two. Two currant buns in the baker's shop, round and fat with a cherry on the top. Along came Lily with a penny one day, Bought a currant bun and took it away. How many of
little drop left now. Just one. One currant bun in the baker's shop, round and fat with a cherry on the top. Along came Arianna with a penny one day, bought a currant bun and took it away. There we go, and all the currant buns have gone. Let's see what else we've got in my song bag, shall we? Oh look, see what this is? It's a pea pod. So you need to curl up your fingers, just like this pea pod. And we'll do the rhyme, are we ready? <clears throat> Five little peas in a pea pod pressed. One grew, two grew, and so did all the rest. They grew and grew and did not stop until at last the pod went. Can you do popping sounds like that? Huh? Should we do it once more? Are we ready? Five little peas in a pea pod pressed. One grew, two grew, and so did all the rest. They grew and grew and did not stop until at last the pod went Good, hey? Right, let's put my pea pod there. See what else we can find. I've got a lovely cake. We'll do a patter cake, patter cake. Do you know this rhyme? Patter cake, patter cake, baker's man. Bake me a cake as fast as you can. Pat it and prick it and bark it with M and put in the oven for Megan and me. Isn't that good? Let's put this cake down and see if there's anything else in my song bag this week. I've got a fish. I wonder how many of you like the taste of fish. I think this fish actually got away. <clears throat> Are we ready to do one, two, three, four, five? <clears throat> one, two, three, four, five. Once I caught a fish alive. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then I let it go again. Why did you let it go? Because it bit my finger so. Which finger did it bite? This little finger on my right. There we go, and that fish escaped. Oh look, see if we've got anything else in here. Sausages. How many of you love the taste of sausages? I do. I love sausages at a barbecue. Right, so we need our fingers again for 10 fat sausages. You ready? <coughs> 10 fat sausages sizzling in the pan. One went and the other went bang! Eight fat sausages sizzling in a pan. One went and the other went bang! Six fat sausages sizzling in a pan. One went and the other went bang! Four fat sausages sizzling in a pan. One went and the other went bang! Two fat sausages sizzling in a pan. One went and one went bang! No fat sausages sizzling in a pan. None went and none went bang! Brilliant everybody. Right, are we ready for Great Big God? We'll need to stand up for this one, won't we? So let's move the birthday hat out of the way. And off we go. <clears throat> Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God and he holds us in his hand. He's higher than a skyscraper and he's deeper than a submarine. He's wider than the universe 
and beyond my wildest dreams. And he's known me and he's loved me since before the world began. How wonderful to be a part of God's amazing plan. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God and he holds us in his hands. Lovely. Are we ready to say bye bye to Lenny then? I can find him under the hat. Here he is. Little life, little life, hear my call. Little life, little life, stand up tall. Little life, little life, turn around. Little life, little life, touch the ground. Little life, little life, touch your head. Little life, little life, stand on one leg. Are we getting better at this? I think we are. Little life, little life, give a big sigh. Because <sighs> now it's time to say bye bye. Bye bye everybody. I hope you have a really good week and I'll see you again soon.